makeup tutorial this shit is screaming for i am obsessed you guys like can we get into this fucking eye makeup look like uh, don't be a hater comment down below because you know <laughs> i fucking slay this i am ready to be backing out these um four looks i wanted it to just be a little bit different before you leave make sure you subscribe to the prima donna nation but yeah guys if you guys want to see how i slayed this yeah i already know what to do keep on watching bye First of all, you guys went in like bitch. Do a talk through. <laughs> I opened up a few of them, but talk through, talk through, talk through, bitch, talk through. <laughs> so rude. We doing a talk through. I got my little. I did my brows off camera, and I also primed my eyes. I haven't done a cut crease in a while, so I'm definitely thinking dramatic today, okay? So I'm thinking of doing a cut crease, but I don't know if I want to do the typical fall colors as far as going like the orange, reddish, you know, yellow, things like that. Um, I'm actually thinking about doing something green. I don't know, like, I want to do something fall inspired, but kind of like different fall. <laughs> More of like green and yellow, but I don't know. Let's just see where this goes. But yeah, if you guys hear Autumn, my apologies. She's out there with Kenny. I've been trying to put this girl to sleep for like ages. And she actually fell asleep and I wasn't going to do the talk through. But then she woke up with full energy. I was like, okay. Okay, so the first palette I'm going to be going in with is the Anastasia Subculture Palette. And I'm actually going to be going in with the shade Dawn, which is this really pretty neutral shade right here. I'm this in my crease with a Morphe M330 brush. It is so hard, you guys, to film with this shit in the background because my vanity is that way, like this way. So just to get this cute background, <laughs> like I got to struggle right in the crease. I went out earlier party shopping for autumn's first birthday um her birthday is on october 6th and her party is on the 7th so like it's like literally like two more weeks away i'm so excited you guys because not only am i celebrating of course my daughter's first birthday i'm also celebrating the fact that i conquered my first year as a mother you guys like so this is super big to me um so it's just a lot to be happy about so now i'm going to be taking the shade edge which is this shade right here underneath where we place that first shade but then i'm also going to bring it on top that way you see like that pop of yellow peeping through Um, so I'm actually going to be going into the original BH Cosmetics. This is the Take Me to Brazil palette. This really bright yellow, which is this one right here, which is right next to that orange. And I'm going to be taking that um, on the same brush. The brush I'm actually using is the MAC 217 brush for the yellow. And I'm going to just be popping this right here because I really, really want that yellow to show. Gonna be going in with this really really bright green oh this is bright bitch. okay if any of the green gets on your lid it's okay because we're gonna clean it up with um with concealer later and we're gonna cut the crease so don't even worry about it green is like really really bright right now but no worries we're gonna be deepening this up in a little bit
sure that your outer corner is just as intense as the inner corner. We're looking a little lemon lime and I want this to definitely scream full. So I'm taking a little bit of Untamed and we about to, you know, work this right under the lighter green. Make sure that you're literally just dipping your brush like and that is it because bitch if you get way too much on this brush your whole shit is done like your whole shit is done the fact that we did the lighter green first um, instead of just going straight with a dark green, it has a really, really pretty transition. Oh my gosh, like this, it look, this looks so pretty. Take this Morphe M411 brush, and I don't know if you guys can see, but this brush is like really, really pointy, like kind of like perfect for a cut crease. So I'm actually going to use this brush to um, take that same green that we were using in the subculture palette, which is Untamed. And I'm gonna use this to like really, really, really dig into that crease. I'm gonna take a little bit of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm gonna be using a little bit of this to actually cut my crease. Oh my god, I haven't done a cut crease, you guys, in a minute, so I'm not even going to front. I'm probably a little rusty. <laughs> So I'm having the hardest decision of life, decision, decision. <laughs> I'm having the hardest decision of life right now because I don't know whether if I want to keep my lid matte or if I want to add this super pretty electric color in the, um, in the palette because it kind of has like that really pretty greeny gold. Okay, I think it's going to look super dope. Okay, let's do it. Oh my God, that is so pretty. the Col Guerrero Glow Kit and I'm gonna be taking the shade Glow Getter and I'm gonna pop this right into the inner corners the winged eyeliner and then I'm gonna be popping on my false eyelashes um, for eyelashes you guys I'm gonna be taking my Peridot Cosmetics um, these are in the style okay. harmony. So um, I put my lashes and my liner on and I'm obsessed you guys. So now I'm going to actually move on to the face makeup the primer. I'm going to be using my MAC Prep and Prime. Um, this is the moisture infusion. This is like my favorite at the moment. For foundation I'm going to be using my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation and I'm in the shade Nude. So for the majority of my face makeup you guys I'm going to be actually using some new brushes and the brushes that I'm going to be using today are from Vanity Planet and these are their new Blend Party Oval Makeup Brush Set. So this is what they look like. I kept them in the package so that way you guys can see. Here they come. It's a huge box. Got 10 different brushes in here. And before anybody reads me, I know I did say if you guys watched like my beauty hits and misses, I'm not really like a big fan of these oval brushes, but I do want to make a disclaimer you guys. I did say that before I tried these. So like I said, I was not introduced to these before I made that statement on the oval type brushes. These have completely changed my opinion, you guys, and I'm not just saying that because they're Vanity Planet. I'm saying that because compared to the other brushes, the hairs on these brushes are so fucking soft, you guys. Like, So yeah, like I said, they are extremely soft. I'm going to show you guys what they look like. So like I said, um, I've been actually using this one. That's why this one is a little bit dirty. Sorry, you guys. This has been like my favorite foundation brush at the moment. So soft, you guys. Like so super soft and look at how pretty they are they're pink handled quickly tell you guys about these brushes so like i said they are extremely soft and extremely high quality i think all vanity planet pro products 
are like super high quality for such an affordable price it's amazing so yeah they are high quality they are synthetic brushes you guys um, and they're very tightly packed so like so tightly packed that it has enough hair that when you try to blend out your makeup it's not gonna leave any of those like ugly streaks or anything like that create kind of like a airbrush type of effect so that's why I really really been loving this for my foundation you guys Ugh. so they're not gonna harbor any type of bacteria like normal you know um, normal animal hair brushes so these are 100% vegan and cruelty free you can also use these with powders liquids basically anything that you want to use them for they also do come in like assorted sizes that way you can use some for the face and some for your eyes as well it also comes with a little booklet but I have no idea what happened to it if you guys are interested in the vanity planet blend party brush set I do have a 70 yes bitch I said it 70 percent discount code so definitely make sure you check out the discount code in the description box if you guys definitely want to check out the vanity planet brushes I highly recommend them you guys like I really really like these I haven't used this foundation in a little minute I'm actually gonna be using the biggest one to see how flawless this blends out and it's so easy Look at this. Wow. Like I said, I know I wasn't a huge fan of these brushes, you guys. So, y'all know I will keep it real with y'all. If I don't like them, I don't like them. But these brushes, I mean, the makeup speaks for itself, you guys. Like, come on. Like, <laughs> see how, like, full coverage my foundation looks? And did you guys see how quick this did it for me? And I'm just going to put a little bit of this under my eye because I actually use this in combination with my MAC Pro Longwear. A little squirt of my Pro Longwear. And I'm going to just pop that right here. I'm going to show you guys how it blends out um, liquid. So as far as my concealer, I don't swipe it at, like I did with um, the cream. Um, this time I'm gonna just use it like if I was to use my beauty blender and I'm just gonna like press it in there you guys and this blends out concealer really really nicely and like I said it doesn't take from any of the coverage we switch over to the one that I was using my foundation just to make sure that this is just nice and blended um this is the hula quickie contour stick so we'll be using some of this to contour Taking this really cute small one, I'm be using this just to blend out my nose contour. This brush, you guys, is perfect for nose contouring. And with my beauty blender, only because I need it to set to help me set my um, concealer. So that's the only reason why I'm using this. Oh, using it to set my foundation so this time i'm going to be using it for powder so i'm just going to use it and i like it because it kind of like it's so like bouncy that it just like pounces right on the face like okay, so now i'm just going to be wiping away my translucent powder underneath my eyes this is my this is the laura mercier matte matte bronze pressed powder which looks like this and I'm gonna be taking this one and I'm gonna show you guys a little trick with this little brush that I have been loving to do. This would be a really nice brush to fill in your brows um, as well, but I'm gonna be using this brush um, 
with a little bit more of my Sephora powder and I'm just gonna be taking it like on the side kind of like that and this is just gonna make my contour stand out just a little bit more my elf this is the Canid coral blush For highlighter, I'm going to be going in with Ofra Rodeo Drive, but mine is a little bit broken, so I gotta like be hella careful. I'm going to be taking Edge, which was that mustardy yellow. And I'm just gonna be running that right on the lower lashes. I go in with Untamed, and I'm just gonna put this a little bit closer to the lash line. My Jack of Scarlet lip liner. This is in the shade Cake Pop. This is really pretty nude, so I'm gonna use this to line my lips. Now that I have that, I'm actually going to take a little bit of the LA Girl. This is in the shade brown, just to darken up the outer corners. Take a little bit of NYX. This is in the shade Cairo, and this is a soft matte lip cream. And I'm going to just pop this right onto the center. So that was it for this makeup, you guys. Now I'm just gonna, you know, fix up my hair and throw on my outfit and then I'll be right back.